For many years, there has been a vigorous debate in this country about the safety of the nation's 72 nuclear energy power plants. That debate is likely to be intensified because of what happened early this morning at a nuclear power plant in Pennsylvania. Max? Frank, it was an accident at the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant, which is located on an island in the Susquehanna River, 10 miles from Harrisburg. A cooling pump broke down, and the plant did just what it was supposed to do, shut itself off. But not before some radioactivity had escaped. We have two reports. First, Bettina Gregory. It happened at the number two generator about four o'clock this morning. Something caused the secondary cooling system to fail. It shut off the reactor, but heat and pressure built up, and some radioactive steam escaped into the building housing the reactor, and eventually out into the plant and the air. William Wittick lives across the river. I heard a uh, very loud noise uh, that sounded like uh, a uh, huge release of uh, steam. And uh, I looked out the window. It was, it was dark, but you could see from the lights over there that there was a geyser of steam that was uh, raising up in the air. Mike Janowski was working inside. Did see anything? Didn't hear anything. All you hear is the turbine trip, and down she comes, and they announce it, and away you go. Workers were evacuated. The plant was completely shut down. A crew from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission rushed from Washington and sped around all day testing for radiation. Workers in their cars were checked and rechecked for radiation. Some was found. Late today in Washington, the NRC said, quote, there's a hell of a lot of radiation in the reactor building, adding that radiation had penetrated the four-foot-thick walls of that building and was detected as far as one mile away. Officials of Metropolitan Edison conceded some workers may have been contaminated, but they insisted this was not a serious accident. They said only one-tenth the amount of radiation needed for a general alarm escaped. Why then was a general alarm sounded and not until three hours later? Company officials said just to be safe, but state officials were upset that they weren't told of the accident earlier. If there is a situation where there was a perception of an emergency and the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency and Council were not notified, we intend to find that out. That would be extremely disturbing. We will make a thorough investigation into that. Officials say they still don't know what caused the malfunction that triggered the general alarm. They say the only thing they're certain of is this, that there'll be an investigation and that this nuclear power plant won't reopen until they're sure it's safe. Bettina Gregory, ABC News, Three Mile Island, near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This is Roger Peterson. Most people have little knowledge of what goes on in a nuclear plant and couldn't care less until something goes wrong. Like most nuclear facilities, the one at Three Mile Island is a pressurized water reactor. What that means is simply water, under pressure, is heated as it circulates through uranium-filled fuel rods. That water, in turn, heats another water system turning it into steam to run turbines that generate electricity. Here's what nuclear experts believe happened in this system. The pump that circulates water through the steam generator and the turbines apparently failed. With the pump out, water couldn't circulate. Pressure built up until a relief valve blew on the turbines. That's where the radiation was released into the atmosphere, but well below any danger level. With that system down, there was no way to draw heat out of the cooling water that circulates through the reactor itself. Again, pressure built up until another relief valve was triggered, this time sending highly radioactive steam throughout the containment building. The loss of pressure in the cooling system automatically shut the reactor down. Inside the containment building, the radiation is reportedly being measured at from 50 Rankins per hour at the base to 4,000 Rankins per hour at the top. Anything above 600 is considered deadly. Some of that radiation is leaking out through the walls. The high levels inside the building indicate damage to the fuel rods in the core, and that deadly radiation will have to be cleaned up before any repairs can be made. Roger Peterson, ABC News. 